What's going on everybody? Today we are on the beautiful Boyan Inlet right behind us, deep sea fishing on our 23 foot center console and we've got a challenge ahead of us, don't we? That's right Dar Sizzle. We're going to keep fishing and keep bringing your fishing content until we catch some excellent fish for me to eat. <laughs> like he means we're going to be out here every single day until we put a fish in this boat. That's right. So we're going to be trolling, bottom fishing, uh, doing a bunch of trips before we go off to New York. Today we've got a basic five line spread out. We're hoping for a wahoo, but we're going to see what happens. This is fishing. We actually just got a knockdown or a bite over here. The planer tripped, and we think that might have been a sailfish, which is a good sign. Go fish in the area. And of course, we're going to be bringing you all the tips and tricks and showing you exactly what we use and how we catch these fish. 100% a bite. Let him eat. Let him eat. He's on. We got fish on, guys. You're on. All right, here we go. Let him run, let him run. Maybe get that long. All right, we gotta get that short first. What, baby? Gotta get that short first. I'm slowing down a little bit. Yeah, just slow down a little bit, let him run. I'm not gonna take the drag, a little low. All right, guys, we got a fish on. Not sure what it is. We're gonna see. Oh, he's running, dude. All right, relax. I'm gonna start bananas to the left. Yep. And speed it up a little bit. Too much of a banana. All right, all right. All right, that's good. I want you to get this, lo this all right, outrigger up. All right, we're just going to go straight. I want you to get this outrigger up. All right, I got it. Nice fish, off. man. You got a nice fish Could on. just be a big bonita. I understand. The nice fish. All right, guys, so I usually don't usually do the trolling when we're, well, I usually don't do the reeling when we troll. But Ryan's like, get on that line, catch it. Yeah. And. We had the camera on, luckily, but I heard the bite. Brian sped up a bit, a little bit, and this planer got bit, and the planer tripped immediately, and Brian turned around and dropped it back to the fish. He's bananaing the wrong way. Okay. And when he did that, and then clocked up the drag after letting it run out like another 100 feet, the fish was there. So it was yep. pretty epic. Planer fishing is an art. You have to do that. You have to watch your planers. And the second you get a trip, you gotta drop it back to the fish if he's not there. All right, so planer bridle system, he's gonna show you here in just a second, but the bridle, he's gonna take the planer right off. Yeah, that way we can reel We're gonna be able to reel in those swivels. Reel a little bit. Yep. Reel a little bit. We keep the boat moving because when you're trolling, your boat's moving and then when a fish hits it, it rips a big hole in the mouth. So you wanna keep that moving. That's we like good. to do what we we'll call good. a banana towards the fish, which is like a, just a little bit of a curve. That's good. He's over the top of that planer. Shit. Oh my God. What is that? It's a marlin. No. What? All right, hold on, hold on. Get the gloves, on. get the gloves, get the gloves. No, wait, he's sideways, hold on. Yeah, it's, side, it's a baby something or other. His fin, his peck fin is just sticking up straight. And the color, like, we just don't have good light right now. But here he comes. Why is it The billfish. What, baby? Yeah, it's peck fix, like straight up. Yeah, right, that's right, what it is. Right, right, right. Big, big billfish. All Ooh. right, yeah, see those peck sticking up weird like that? All right. You got him? It's a sailfish. I was wrong. Hold on. Let me see. Hold tight. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You okay? You okay? Drop him if you need to drop him. I'll come in and help you as soon as he calms down. You got the line? Oh, I'm letting him go. Let me go. All right, he's a little green. He looks greener than he is. <laughs> I mean, he's greener than you he gotta is. You got to get both hands on him in this hole. I know. I was just afraid of that thing. Beautiful fish. He's green. I know. I it's a sailfish, guys. I was like, Marlin, Marlin. I was totally wrong. Yeah, well, he's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. All right, that's honestly the best way for a billfish to survive. Yeah, 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 no program, that's fine. Okay, we got a bite. <laughs> All right, got a fish. Treated that like, you know, like our wahoo like we want, but that's okay. That was pretty cool. And this the lighting right now and stuff, he was sticking up like this instead of swimming straight down. And so he had this fin that was sticking up and it just looked like it a looked marlin like a fin single kind marlin of, fin, honestly. But, and we never caught one, so we don't marlin. know. But. Yeah, anyhow. All right. But we're just gonna keep sticking it out here. We trolled up about 10 miles to the north, almost to the next inlet, which is Palm Beach Inlet. And we're just gonna continue our way up the coast here. 
and we're just following the leads, trolling back and forth between 100 and 300 feet of water, and just got that bite in 200. Yeah. Was that that's where you saw the flyer, right? Yeah. Just for a debrief, fish came in a little sideways with his fin, one fin sticking up. It looked more like a marlin fin, and we never caught a marlin, so we were cooking <laughs> it a little bit. And um, and then I, I was billing it, and the hook was like wasn't in his mouth, which happened to a sailfish. It was stuck like up more in his bill. So I couldn't really get two hands on it without getting a really good look at it. And when I put it down to get a better look at it, you know, the hook popped out um, because it was weird in his bill. But you're perfectly fine. You know, we're going to release the sailfish anyway. And, uh, you know, you probably yeah, would have preferred yeah. to take a picture of it, but it's not fatal. I got a million pictures. We Here's a picture right here. We don't <laughs> need to take a picture with every billfish in the world. So. No, and it would have just taken more time and get my lines tangled and everything else. You guys else. saw them. I wish it was a little more sunny, but it's yeah. a nice fish. Yeah, those are fish. So we've got sailfish. He pulls a nice line. Drag. Yeah. And that's a that's a legal catch, you know, because you do release them. So when I have my hands on it and touch the leader, touch the, in a sailfish tournament, you have a 12 foot leader, and you touch the leader, and it's a catch. So perfectly fine. All right. And so, it was healthy. And we know we already got a couple sail bites earlier this morning. We can tell by the way our baits look. So yeah, they just chop at it. One, we're like what? Two for one on billfish. One for two, whatever. One for two. Okay. You know, honestly, around here they just. You know, they just get, if you're actually trying to catch dinner, they're just getting away more often than not. I mean, you're, you're allowed to eat one, yeah. we just haven't. And these are our resident summertime sailfish that live here year-round. Yeah, you can catch sailfish any, time, any day of the year here. And uh, yeah, so, and, and it's also it's like 10 o'clock, so we've been trolling for hours, you know. <laughs> hours? Hours. It's 9.33, you had lines in at 6.23, so three hours. Three hours. Gone 27 miles. 200 again. He's on. Wow. All right, you're up. All right, I'm up again? Yeah. Doesn't seem too huge. Got another fish on. Let's slow it down a tad. All right, hold on. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. So slow down a little or no? Let him run. All hold right. on. Hold on. Clicker off. Shit, is he off? No, he's on. Go slow down. Hold on. We gotta get this. You want me to? I'm not sure what's going on. Is it gone or not? I think doesn't he's look, gone. Doesn't look like it. I think he's gone. Not real. Don't slow down. I'm not. Okay. Now I feel it. There he is. He's going fast. He's going real fast then. Fish is swimming fast. Do not slow the boat down. They're eating tight again. What the hell is this? This is swimming way fast. All right. Maybe speed it up when you come get the planer. Oh, I'm going pretty good here. Not tight again. This is swimming crazy fast, dude. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Hold on. What are you doing? Hold on, fish is going back. All right, all right. It's going too there fast. There he is, there he is, shaking. Slow down. Just a tad. All right, come get it. Come, come, come. Ah. It's across the other way, on the other side. Shit. What's going on, baby? It's a little tangled. Okay, do you want me to loosen the drag? No, I want you to stay right here. You want me to look? Yeah, you look. Keep it tight. Wanna just hand line it? No, I don't. This is really bad, this is really bad. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, good. Oh God, oh God. You got it. I'm barely hooked here. I see the hook. All right, well, I don't know why you took it out, but whatever. I'm trying to keep it high. Better not be a barracuda. No, it's the right fish. 
Get ready. I'm, I'm nice and easy. Gotta get a little more. Come oh, on, baby. Shit. Get him in the boat. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! He did it. That's our fish. He just popped right off. No, we didn't. Yeah, he did. No, we didn't. Broke yeah. the leader off. That's okay. We did it. <laughs> we got a wahoo. That's what I'm talking about. Beauty right there. That fish was smoking drag, and he was ahead of the boat the entire time. I don't know why you're smoking so bad. We're going fast. That was wild. He still got it in his mouth. I don't know what you're talking Woo! about. Oh, he, he cut the leader. leader. Yeah, the line's not attached to the oh. leader anymore. He just cut it. Well, the second he, in the he boat. brought him in the boat. That's because he was in a boat. We got a wahoo, right, we'll baby. Tiger stripes. Woo! Got our fish. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's get another circle back. 200. All right. Planers and wahoos and 200. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is an art. Brian did a great job gaffing that fish by the head. And I just saw him, you know, going all over the surface. And then we had that little bit of a tangle on our bridle set up there. Let's see if I can, where is he hooked? I know. I want to get some pictures of this beautiful fish. There it is. So this is the art, oh, double hooked. Yeah. This is the RJ Boyle planer hook that he sells on his website. We'll link the information down below. But as you can see, this fish was hooked really well, actually. A lot better than I thought he was. But multiple times I was like, you gotta speed up because that was the fastest we've ever gone to try and keep this fish tight because he was swimming faster than the boat. That's crazy. There he is. Nice job. <laughs> we got our Wahoo, baby. That's There's awesome. been a ton of them around. There's been an epic bite this year. Wahoo have been around in the uh, southeast coast of Florida now for months and it's not even around a full moon right now. We have a full moon approaching, but that's usually when you catch them is a few days before the moon, a few days after the moon. Beautiful little fish right there. Not little, beautiful fish right there. Probably a solid 10, 12 pound Wahoo. Nice. Okay. So I mentioned his marine mat cleans up real good. It's got to, just like any floor, you got to. You take care of it in a timely manner. Nobody lets, yeah, you know, you know you... a blood bath sit on your boat. Yeah, I mean, right you just don't. But yeah, we're going to spray down the boat here. Just want to get this fish cleaned up. You see he's losing his stripes quickly because he's dying. So, you guys, some of you guys drive me crazy in, in, in comments. I want you to catch fish. So trolling means you're covering ground. You're just covering as much ground as possible. Okay. And, uh, and you troll around until you find, you know, where the fish might be. Okay. You, you drive around fast where the fish might be. Like if you're looking, going straight out 20 miles to find mahi and weed lines, or if you know wahoo and other fish are generally on the reef line here in Southeast Florida. You're gonna zigzag and just cover ground until you see where flyers are and stuff. And that's what we did today. We caught that fish. Um, and so now we're back in that same area. And then the other thing is I got comments yesterday on Facebook. You know, every time we catch a fish, it's like, how deep? Where was it? I mean, look, the ocean changes every single day. Okay? And I, and I know I, I used to be a weekend guy, and I know a lot of you weekend guys, but if you ask me on a Tuesday where I caught a mahi, yesterday or the day before and you're going to go out on Saturday, that's not where the mahi are, all right? Pelagic fish means they swim in the upper in the upper zone of the water. water and that's color. stationary, right. Uh, and so, you know, the, the Gulf Stream is going three to five knots north. The tide's going in and out. Uh, the moon phase has changed. The wind, east wind pushes stuff closer, west wind pushes stuff out. So if I told you they were in 500 feet and then you went out and tried to catch a fish at 500 feet on Saturday, you just be wasting your time, okay? Yeah. So every day is a little different. And I just wanted to say too, you have to pay attention to like what's going on that day you're out fishing. So for example, today, we weren't seeing anything going on until within the last hour, we've seen a couple flying fish popping around and that was in around 200 feet of water. Caught the sailfish in 200 feet of water and then sure enough, hooked the wahoo in 200 feet of water. So something is going on in that depth range and the pelagics are swimming in the 200 depth range today. And again, that can right. change in six hours, but right now that's what's going on. So we're circling back around and we're gonna hit 200 again. Right, and if, and if we come out here tomorrow, that'd be a great place to check, but I'm not gonna re rely on that unless the only place that might be fish. And again, particularly if I'm gonna come in, you know, it's Tuesday, if I come up, if, I, if you come out here on Saturday, it's a totally different ball game, man, you know what I'm saying? 
can go in one RPM faster too. And the other thing is, <laughs> and all tied into this is fish, as a very famous and the best captain around, rest in peace, told us, fish bite on change. So that's a change in water temperature. That's a change in pressure. See this rip right here? That's a, right, that's where weeds are. That's a change in, you know, and your boat speed. That's a change in a boat, the return a boat makes. We've all caught fish turn, when we turn our boat. So all that stuff. So, uh, you know, how fast you troll, you troll the speed of your lures look great, and then there's gonna be a range in there, three to five miles an hour, and then you're gonna change your speed until you get a bite. You know, the other day, we slowed down and started getting mahi bites, remember? Yes, we actually went, yeah. Today we sped up when we started getting bites. You know, so, yep. change, so, you're always changing. Don't ever be consistent, don't ever be the same. So, uh, yeah, so depending on the day, and again, don't be afraid to switch things up. Go a little slower, go a little faster. See what's happening and see what works for you. Yeah, and you don't, you don't just troll in a straight line. You're turning, the whole, we're turning the whole time. I think they just saw the entire time I was turning, yeah. as you talked. I'm just telling you. That's the change. Lots of zigzagging. Make your lures go in and out of that wash behind you. Right. You don't just do that in high speed trolling. You do it all the time. One lures, lures are going up and down. They're going like this. Anyway. You no. see so many weekend warriors just trolling straight line. Oh, you're never going to catch a fish, bro. These guys just... I, I have a very good friend. His name starts with a C. <laughs> That's not <laughs> nice. Watching, he's got, dude, no, he, he enjoys it. Right. If you enjoy that and you just want to go on a boat ride, and troll straight out, straight in, <coughs> that's fine. But it's not the most, if, you want, if you're competitive and you're trying to catch fish, it's not, it's not the best method, just saying. And, again, and we're not experts, this is just what we do and what people have told us, okay? I didn't, we didn't invent any of this. This is just information we've the been blessed to hear. The sun literally just came out. Yeah, it's nice out. That's the rant, fish rant, fish seminar for today. Tiny. Nice. Let him run, let him run. Just did a turn around, guys. We yep. just decided to turn. Just did we a got... turn, a change. Yes. And we got another bite. I'm not sure what it is, of course. 300 feet of water. We got a rainstorm coming Very in. Very high planer. You fish, come on. Just keep that speed for right now. Incredible. That was on the turn. We've been seeing a lot more flying fish because we're telling you guys, you know, what let the conditions out, are though. out here. Yeah, slow down a bit more. We're going into the current, so Correct. it's a little different. Yes, so current is keeping tension on the fish back there. But I started seeing a lot more flyers. The wind just kicked up quite a bit out of the east, pushing stuff towards shore. That's good. You need to stop the nanny. Go some more straight. Oh, there's a planer already. Right here. Yeah, planer's right, right here. Um, so anyhow, so I saw the flyers. So that's where I've been fishing since we got the last bite, in between two and 300 feet of water and just did a tight turn into the current and immediately this line went off. And yeah. this is our other planer. Yeah, we got the east wind. This could be a bonita, we don't know, but. 300 feet of water. Could well, be a nice tuna, could be anything. Could fish be it down deep. Fish it down deep, which is usually not a wahoo. Speed but it up is. a bit. Fish is really shaking, hold on. There he's speeding up. Okay, I just caught up to him again. Real? Trying. Okay. Whoa. It's coming up now. Oh, there he is. All right, shit. I turned a little bit. Keep it right there. Woo, baby. Woo, baby. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Come on. Perfect. Here we go. I'm doing a full circle. This is shaking like crazy, dude. It's okay, that's okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Stud fish. Stud fish. That's what I'm oh, talking man. about. I got my nice gap. Nice gap. Whoa, careful with the gap. Careful with the gap. Careful with the gap. Hold on, hold on. Right, you got right, his right stomach right. coming out. It's all right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my lord. Epic. What right now? We're about to catch fish number three. <laughs> no, I said two are going home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's so exciting to catch Wahoo. I love it. I know. I love the runs they do. I love when they start smoking on the surface like that. And they're just so much fun to catch. Such a fish I respect. We get a lot of our bites turning south. Or no, 
Yeah, turning south into the current because, oh, he cut the line again. Did he? Yeah, he's flopping around like crazy. Yeah. Well, All right, thing get the salt water on real quick. I, I don't know if you noticed, the wind is like just really just picked up. Yeah, it did. They're supposed to come around to the east today, and, and it I, did. I just told them I was seeing tons of flyers. Let me see how stuff. great the hook came in. Oh, that's nice. I mean, perfect hook set on that fish. Yeah. I mean, that was right under the bone. That wasn't going anywhere. No. And you see, the, the, when they flap around the deck, they're biting my leader because I'm only using 60. Correct. I think maybe a 40 pound leader. Let me spray them real quick and pick them up. Yeah. Nice fish, man. But it gets a little tougher for us when we have wind and we got to drive and gaff and reel. But, uh. Look, Brian bridle. did perfect too. For the last two shots of the fish, he did it right in the stomach area, which is. I just shoved his innards back in for a nice picture. <laughs> Trying but to get him in the head more. Good job. No, that's good. I, I can't complain about that. I'm not eating that part of the not belly right, meat. Of course, not right. Heck yeah. Now we got a fish on the blue and white sea witch. Uh, Cody sea witches. I'll link it down below. Correct? Salty dog? Yeah, salty dog. Salty dog sea witches we're using, which are locally made down here in South Florida. Support your local fishermen. So blue and white sea witch. And then we just got this beautiful fish. Probably a stud, like that's a little bigger. Higher teens there, maybe close to 20. Yeah, nice. Probably not 20, but close. And this fish ate the pink and white islander. Sorry, pink and white sea witch. Yeah. Under the bonita strips that I make. Nice. Woo! All right, let's get a picture of his beautiful lit up zebra stripe stripes. Nice. All right, guys, we are back at the house. Woo! I'm gonna clean this fish up for you. Yes, sir. Awesome Smith bag, by the way, guys. We use this fish bag all the time. We bring it on our big boat when we go offshore fishing, but holds ice really well. And uh, check it out on the Smith's website. Oh, yeah, get thing? it in the shade. We're doing the little fish. He's out. Oh, okay. Um, and so, anyways, you could look up that on smithproducts.com, and there'll be a promo code, our sizzle15. You get 15% off, which is an awesome deal on this fish Smith bag. Smith fish bag. <laughs> we're a little tired. I'm a little tired. We usually don't do this right after fishing, but today we are because we're going to be going fishing tomorrow like we hopefully told you. Yes. And don't worry, we're feeding all of our neighbors. Everybody has been alerted that we have fresh wahoo <laughs> and we're going to be eating as much as we possibly can as well. So yeah. don't worry, fish is not coming to waste. Even Silent Frank is coming. Yes, fish. that's why another reason we got to get this done. Yep. Everybody's waiting on me to get these fish done because they all want fresh fish. <laughs> All right, let me run in the house, get my knives, and we're gonna fillet up this guy first, because he was caught first. All right, finally caught some fish today myself. The last few times we go trolling, Brian usually catches like all the fish because he's working the cockpit and I'm usually driving. But team effort. So first fish on board, figure I might as well go ahead and fillet him first. There are so many Wahoo around like we've been talking about. This is about your average size fish that everybody's been catching. Not saying that's big or small, just saying this is about the average size fish everybody catches between 10 and 20 pounds. So no complaints over here. Wahoo is definitely my top three favorite fish to eat. I love it. And we're going to be making sushi rice immediately as soon as we get in the house. So cutting behind the peck fin using the 8 inch star sizzle curved flex fillet knife today, which is just perfect for this Wahoo. Way up into the head as far as you can possibly go. They don't have a head like a mahi does, but there's still head meat there. And then we're just gonna take our time going down his back here. I love these fish. One of these days, I wanna catch a monster on my boat. <laughs> they put up so much drag and even this fish, like he was literally swimming faster than the boat and we were going, I don't even know, like 10, I don't even know, what were we going, like 10? Uh, nine, eight or nine, depends on eight the current. Nine. That's another, thing people always, that's another thing, people always ask how fast you're trolling. Yeah, you know, you're trolling. it really just depended on that day. Depends on how fast and you know, how fast and what your and lures look like. Yeah, exactly. So just taking our time. Wait till you guys see this delicious fish. It's been a minute since we've had a wahoo. Honestly, a minute meaning like two or three months. I think two months. I think three months. We've had maybe a dozen failed trips so far, but that's fishing. Wow! Look at that. Just gorgeous. Look at that meat. That's gonna be so good. Then right up here, just cut these pin bones out. Wow, glorious. And there's just a little piece right here I missed, but that's okay on Wahoo because 
It makes the perfect little sashimi piece. That is gonna be so good. Oops. <laughs> nice job, Sizzle. Let me get some. Oh my goodness. So good. Now that's as fresh as it freaking gets, guys. <laughs> Take your last little piece. There you go, one more for Brian. All right, now let's go ahead and slab off his beautiful loins here. I would probably say that's a 12 pound fish, 12, 14 pound fish. I'm not gonna weigh it, but yeah, nice fish, no complaints. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut it into the even pieces and then slab off the sides like I like to do. I'm gonna break it up into two even sections here. Something like this. And then what I like to do, this upper loin and bottom loin are excellent on the fish, but I'm gonna go down on the opposite sides of his bloodline here, where it runs down, and I actually can see pin bones up here by the head. So just edging it out on the side here. And then the second I get down low, you turn the blade and you cut through. And I'll show you why I do this. But this way, it's like a more manageable piece of meat. You can work through it in sections. You're not getting any of the skin on it. You're avoiding the bloodline. And I just like to do this with these longer fish. It just makes it easier in my opinion. But again, you do what works for you. I just tried to slab it down the, down the whole side and it didn't really work too great. But something like that, look at that. Just gorgeous. And then let me show you, and then you'll see what's left behind. But we got the one piece top loin already off. And this is where a sharp knife comes in. I mean, you're not really gonna be able to do this without your knife being razor sharp. So check out the dark sizzle knife if you're interested. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So excited. Okay, and we just got both pieces off. That little bit, little bit of redness left there, that's not a big deal at all. We can go ahead and clean that up in the kitchen, but you guys get the gist of it. But you see what's left behind. We got the pin bones, the bloodline here, a little bit of skin. There's no waste whatsoever. Awesome. So I'm gonna finish up the other side of this fish. Ooh, finish up the rest of this fish on the one side and then clean up the rest of the fish and meet you guys in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. All right, guys, so Chef Puddin just decided to do a simple searing of the fish. A couple quick tips to get that right. Uh, you know, you're going to have the meat or the fillets dry, and then I just make up whatever kind of coating I want. I start with sesame seeds, and then you can use Montreal steak seasoning from Costco, salt and pepper, uh, crackled pepper, whatever you want to do. Throw it in there, see what you like, mix it up, and press it on. And then, again, put it on a heated... Uh, skillet, I don't like to make it that hot, like medium heat, because otherwise it just burns my seeds. So maybe 30 seconds on each side, but that's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Comes out delicious every single time. Put it in your favorite dipping sauce, teriyaki, ponzu, whatever you like, okay? So we do sushi like the first day, and then we sear it the second, and that's how we do wahoo. It's, uh, if you want to do something else, wahoo is a delicious white firm fish. I just saw when Darcy cleaned it, and so it's pretty dense, so you definitely don't want to overcook it, but you can cook it the same way as like cobia and tuna and other denser fishes like that. Pretty good on the grill, but again, don't overcook it. It's a dense fish, you don't want to do that. And uh, that's really it. I didn't make a big deal out of the cooking portion, guys, because we're going to New York. So the next video you'll see will be our New York videos. Yes. Headed to Long Island, New York, which is where Brian is from. But yeah, yes. Wahoo, just want to mention that quickly, it is definitely in my top five favorite fish to eat. I always mention that. And that's why I never get tired of catching them. Brian gets tired of catching them, but <laughs> I'll go out there every day and chase a Wahoo. I don't care. Yeah, I like them that much. Yeah, you know, it's a, one of the more sporty fishes to catch, so it's always always a pleasure. And we, and we uh, actually today did our goal. I just wanted to catch a fish that I could eat, and we nailed it. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Especially catching two, which we don't catch two too often, so we're blessed. It's only the second time. No, we've caught uh, no, quite we've caught, a few. We over caught the two years. twice, and we caught three once. Really? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Jeez. All right. We saw. So a great day. No, it's a great day. We should be catching a lot more than that. On several <laughs> days. All right. Anyhow, but yeah, thanks for joining us on today's adventure. Great day, and stay tuned for our New York videos headed your way real soon. And until then, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.